Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah, but I'm still tired. You're still tired? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's time to go. We got to go hunting. You know, just say the early bird gets the worm, right? We got to go hunting from my bed. <laughs> hunting from your bed? <laughs> Let's go. What are we going to find today? Good stuff. Say good morning. Good morning. What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. It's uh, Thursday, August 1st. It's the 127 World's Longest Yard Sale Day. Yeah. Took off work uh, Thursday and Friday to do this. Uh, it's pretty much a tradition for me now. I always like coming out here. It's fun time. Day. I usually go the same route every year. Day. What? Are we going to the big yard sales? We're going to all kinds of yard sales. Are we going to the huge one? The big one. Yeah. The world's longest yard sale. Can we go there? We're going now. Yay. It's around 7.30. Uh, I've usually learned that on the on Thursday, people aren't like super quick to set up because they're going to be out, out here till Sunday, so... It's usually a little slow to set up on Thursdays, but uh, we're going to get out here, try to see what we can find. Uh, one cool thing is I have a big uh, video game pickup scheduled for later today, so I'm already happy about that. So that will be a separate video if you guys want to look look out for that in the coming week or two. So uh, the sun's blocking me. But... Uh, <laughs> We're gonna get out here and see what we can find. Can't Let's go. Oh, he sure did. <laughs> How you doing, man? Got them things pretty cheap. PlayStation ones and twos are a dollar a piece. Okay. Uh, the threes are three dollars for the threes here. Xbox are a dollar. Three sixties are two. We. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Yeah, what's up? 
How much are the games? The game? Yeah. Just the one? Um, oh gosh. Jackson, how much for just the games? Okay. I think there's one more game in here. Yeah, there's a game right there, too. Oh, okay. This is his figure. Dollar. Dollar. Well, guys, this is how my 127 yard sale is going. Flat tire. Tons of fun. See, uh, right there, there's a little hole right there. I try to fix it myself, but we'll see. Hey guys, uh, Shadju's checking in. It's about 2:45 now. Uh, kind of gave up over the yard sale stuff about over an hour ago. As you've seen, I got that flat tire, which that's fun. Uh, I plugged my first tire, and so far it's held for a little bit. <laughs> so uh, the plug kit at the gas station I had was like really cheap. It wasn't worth the crap. So. Uh, plugged it the first time it didn't hold and then I redid another one and so far it's holding. Uh, I, it's about time for some new tires. I think these might be the original ones on here. So uh, didn't find like crazy good stuff today. We found some things. Like I said it's not it's a lot of vendors out here man and I don't know it's just kind of over to 127 yards out really so I easily look forward to it but it's just 
just jump out of jump. And, uh, I'll show you what we got when we get home. All right, guys, Shad Juice here. We're back at home. Go show you the pickups I got on a Thursday at the 127 sale. It was uh, not the greatest day. I definitely did better last year on the Thursday. But we did find some stuff. Got a flat tire, and I just quit after that. I didn't really do nothing after that. I stopped at like one sale on the way back, but that was it. So, first thing I picked up today, I think you've seen it in the video at the beginning. It's a flip clock, but this one doesn't go for very much. I, pretty much, I think I sold this not that long ago for like 15 to 18 bucks. But we got it for two. If you didn't know flip clocks, you can make some money on. There's some that are really expensive, but this one's a General Electric. It's not too expensive. Went to another sale. The lady said somebody took a, a lot of the Wii stuff already. The Wii games. But they left Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports... Both for a buck a piece. The discs are actually decent condition. Another sale. Uh, picked these up. Yeah, this guy said uh, he had a bunch of GameCube games, but somebody got it the day before. So people go out on Wednesday. You know, the st it start it starts on a uh, Thursday, but people go out on Wednesday while people are setting up and getting ready. And trying to, you know, get ahead of the game, I guess. I mean, I don't blame them. I just kind of shady, but whatever, man. So, I got these. This Monster Jam. If you didn't know, Monster Jam games on 360 are worth good money. Only thing bad about this one, it was really scratched. So, I'll see if it works, but I'm probably going to just get it resurfaced. I got it for a buck. Um, we got Dirt Showdown. That's for the collection. I don't think I had that. We got Midnight Club Los Angeles for a bonus game, which is pretty scratchy. So those two games are three bucks. Picked up a uh, pretty sure this is the Punisher. It's a pretty cool figure. Not sure if it's worth anything or not. I would assume it's worth more than the dollar I paid for it. But <clears throat> I haven't got to looking it up yet, so it's pretty cool though. <laughs> All right, this is probably the best like video game score I got today. These were all two dollars a piece. Got Clock Tower Three, which I don't have any Clock Tower games, so that was awesome. It's complete, and that disc is in really good condition. Got Clock Tower Three, Sonic Generations, which that's probably going in the collection. And we got Harry Potter Years One to Four, includes a Harry Potter movie. Pretty sure this goes for some money. I haven't looked it up though. But those are all two bucks a piece. That's from a guy that I, uh, he remembers me every year. And he does hold stuff for me, but he didn't hold nothing this year, but they were sitting out and I grabbed them. So, not a bad deal on them games. All right, this was all at one house. This was like on a side road down the road, about a mile. So, uh, they had just put some games out. We got a Grand Theft Auto collection for the PS2. We got uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. These are all in good condition. We got Batman Origins on 360. This game I thought was worth good money, but it's only worth like 10 bucks. Indianapolis 500 Evolution. This is this is a rare game to find. I guess the price just went down. But I don't think I've ever come across it. That's probably going in the collection. Batman Arkham City, Halo uh, Anniversary, Spider-Man 3, all the games you said were a buck, so got Batman Arkham Asylum. This is a rare game, uh, Test Drive Eve of Destruction. I just sold this recently come with a case, of case and disc only for 20 and it was kind of scratchy. And this one's pretty scratchy, it was just thrown in, so that's another one I'll put in a resurface pile. We got some uh, repair manuals. We got one for a Honda CR80R, a Nissan 300ZX, Pontiac Fiero, and a Kawasaki. Those were 50 cents a piece, but I only paid one price for all this. All these games, the books. <clears throat> we got some music. 
Rob Zombie, Hillbilly Deluxe, Megadeth, Hidden Treasures. All these discs are in nice condition. Megadeth, Euthanasia. Wasp, Helderado. That just looked interesting. I don't know who that is. We've got a Metallica Black Album. Van Halen, Balance. 40 Seasons, The Best of Skid Row. ACDC, Back in Black. This was an empty Resident Evil 2 case, which was a bummer. But yeah, all that stuff right there, 12 bucks. Picked up a Rick and Morty Season 3 uh, Blu-ray. Two bucks. Ain't worth nothing, really. I guess I'll just keep it. <clears throat> this stuff right here was at a, like a Boy Scout sale. I went to it last year, and it was like fill a bag, but I guess they do that the second day. But uh, they pretty much just told me to make an offer. I didn't know what to offer. Like, I didn't get nothing too expensive in there, but I'll show you what we got. Uh, when I was uh, a guy was had a PS2 Mini and the cords and stuff. I think the Hawk on the Xbox he grabbed before I got to it, so that was kind of stinky. But got cars on Xbox, Spider Man two on Xbox. We got an HP. 12C Platinum Financial Calculator. Comes in this nice little uh, leather pouch. Sorry, guys. On any? Eh, that's what it looks like right there. I just don't need to take that out. We got that. We got this Metallica. Uh, it's the the big four. Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, and Anthra Anthrax concert in uh, Sofia, Bulgaria. This actually goes for decent money. I should be able to get 20 bucks out of that, I think. We got a Wii Remote with the Wii Remote Plus on the bottom. We got a uh, Apple uh, router. This is the Airport Extreme Base. I thought this was good for more. It's about $25 free shipping, so we'll see. That's just a different model. Could be a little more money. We got a PS2 Fat. And then I grabbed another power cord that was sitting there, but that's for the PlayStation Mini, which I need. So that's awesome. Alright, so we got PS2, Apple, this stuff. And we got a starter jacket. Indiana Pacers. Vintage uh, starter jacket. It's the XL. It does have some staining down here. I'm going to wash it see if it comes out. But just throwing it in. Uh, I ended up just offering 10 bucks and she took it. So said it was like a donation thing. But uh, let's see. I think got a couple more things here, guys. We got an old uh, penny skateboard penny australia this is like the rainbow version and somebody threw a sticker on there it's definitely been used <clears throat> um i'm thinking i could get 40 50 bucks out of that i paid three dollars for it so not much and uh i thought this was really cool seeing this in the box it's pretty much new it was never used. Got this entertainment center. It can hold uh, NES and some games. Also holds these. Atari 2600 and a master system. So, definitely cool. I, I looked in there. It didn't look like it was ever used. So, pretty cool. Yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. That's all I got today. I'll be going out tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to hit the 127 sales. I probably will, but I'm going to see if there's anything else going on, too. So, I need to strategize better. But uh, right now, I'm about to go pick up a $1,200 video game lot. So, I got to make room somehow for all that crap. So, you'll be seeing that soon. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, actually, I'm gonna, I'll videotape what Mikey picked up because it's all upstairs. So if you want to hang around and uh, check that out in a second. All right, guys, this is what Mikey got uh, at the yard sale for five bucks. He got all this stuff. What'd you get? Army stuff. All this army stuff. 
Got tanks, got hummers. Got airplanes. And little cars. Matchbox cars, Hot Wheels. And a big Hummer. Big Hummer. Yeah. All these army men. We were just playing like with this little army men he got at the dollar store and then he got now we can have a full fledged battle. There's some dinosaurs in here you All can kinds have. Of stuff. There's some bad there's some dinosaurs in the too. There's some dinosaurs in the too. Ah, I'm gonna eat you too, rah! I'm gonna eat you too. I'm gonna eat the camera. Rah! All right, calm down. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's a pretty good deal for five bucks, wasn't it? Yeah. What do you say? Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, buddy. Bye. Say bye. Bye, everyone. Say later, alligator. Later, alligators. <laughs> <laughs> later.